right, so we're going to be working on this simple logo here. Um, we're mainly going to be using the pen tool for this apple peel spinning back on the apple effect that we've got going on here. Uh, you might want to do a tutorial on the, the pen tool, but if not, you can follow on. So let's crack on. If you go over to the left with the uh, eclipse tool, just make a nice, simple, very light line sort of eclipse. Uh, go to edit, copy. Uh, and then uh, edit again and paste right in front but this time we're going to make this eclipse like a nice bottle green for for the apple skins obviously um, but I don't want to show all of this so I'm going to put a mask over this so if you just select that eclipse tool go over to the right transparency and double click next to that green uh, press clip if it comes out black as well because we want to reveal that uh, then go over to back over to your eclipse tool and then we're going to make a nice shape over it just to hide what we don't what we don't want to see basically it's layer masking I'm sure you all know this your designers oh, let's just make that black and there you go it gets rid of it all adjust it to however fits you this doesn't have to be an apple by the way it could be an orange it could just be a globe whatever we just adjust this all right cool that's good enough so uh, let's get right to the pen tool again stop and start it uh, take your time I'm not gonna keep talking I might uh, stop talking and speed it up for a little while because um, you could more or less do it at your own pace so we're going to start at the anchor point right at the tip of the apple um, yeah just follow what I'm doing all I need is literally a three point pen tool for, for this close it up at the end bend it to the shape that I want it to be at and uh, and there you go. It's literally as simple as that. The good thing about Illustrator, the easy thing about Illustrator is that it's easy to um, manipulate the pass once you've done it. So if it comes out rubbish, just manipulate the pass until you get it good. There's no rush. Take your time. Spend all day. Um, for this particular effect, I'm going to want this to be behind the apple. So um, what I'm doing is creating the shape that I like. Uh, let me just close it up at the end there. Yeah, I'm going to make this a darker green because it's going to be behind the apple. So shading and all of that. You know already your designers chatting rubbish. Make this a nice dark green. Then go over to object, arrange and send that to the back. And, as you, and you can see where I'm going with this already. So you just repeat that effect. As many times as you like until you get the effect you want. I'm going to stop talking and speed this up. Right, so that's more or less the gist of um, of the effect. But like I said, when you're doing it, you could do this as many times as you want. Start off really thin and then go higher. It looks really good. This is just for the sake of a uh, YouTube minute. So I'm going to make the, uh, the center of the apple. Again, that's just a three-point pen maneuver there. Really, really simple. Take your time, but it's, it couldn't be any more simple. Uh, I'm going to select that and then make it black. Um... By the way, I do know apples aren't perfectly round, but for the sake of this logo, I do want it to be. I'm going to make the stem of the apple again using the pen tool. Uh, it's a stem, so it doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, the more little bit bent out of shape it is, uh, the more realistic it looks, to be honest. Done that in four points. Very simple. And to make the little leaf, again, the pen tool. Um, and we're going to do this in three points, one, two. If you click back on the last sort of anchor point as well, it will it'll bring it back. I'm probably confusing you as well as myself. And we'll just use the eyedropper to select the, uh, the color that we want. Because we, it's, a, it's a logo at the end of the day. So we want to keep the colors consistent. And we use that as the same shading as the back of that skin thing. Copy me, I'm chatting rubbish. Anyway, 
So that's the base of the logo. That's the hard part over. Like a donut, I've I've created it the wrong sort of way. So I'm going to select all of that. Go to object and just group all of that together. Go back to object. Uh, transform. Uh, transform each and select reflect X and OK. And it just spins it the other way because I want the lettering to flow next to it. So that's the hard part done. So like I said, take your time and uh, do it to... Uh, do it perfectly not rough and ready like this I'm just gonna do a quick reflection effect on this as well so again if we select everything that we've done go over to edit copy edit again and paste then go to object transform transform each and then this time we're gonna select reflect Y press OK drag that uh, below your logo go over to the right where you've got your transparency and just bring that right down and there you've got your reflection effect but I'm, I'm sure you know that already but there you go and as I said before that is the gist of your logo that's pretty much it the next thing you've got your lettering so I'm gonna shut up speed it up and uh, you can crack on Yeah, so there you have it. Uh, that's the gist of your logo. You can use your pen tool to put your your little shiny effects on it and your uh, your your blurs and all sorts to put your finer details on it, you know. But that is the gist of your logo. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Again, with your pen tool, take your time. Even people that are really good at it, take their time. Uh, yeah, till next time.